Across the nation, police are investigating two apparent road rage incidents, both of them involving guns. A woman waving a firearm around in one investigation, and in another, a suspect actually shooting a car with a child inside. ABC's Clayton Sandell reports. Police in Gainesville, Florida are looking for this woman, seen wildly waving a gun after an alleged road rage incident moments before. Police say this black truck and silver sedan pulled into a gas station after a run-in on the street. The woman gets out of the truck with the pistol. The truck's driver, Jacob Sylvester, quickly takes it away. He is later arrested, but investigators say he refuses to identify the woman with the gun. And on the streets north of Los Angeles, investigators say they're now working to stop the driver of a dark Honda before he does this again. In another apparent case of road rage, he fires twice at the family inside this white SUV, including a child. The driver saw that her armed with unknown type of black handgun. The suspect enraged, police say, because the SUV apparently sprayed his car with windshield wiper fluid. The level that this incident took was quite alarming to us, and uh, I couldn't imagine what it would be like in a vehicle and being fired upon just driving with your family members. It had to have been terrifying. Road rage incidents can quickly take a violent, deadly turn. Since 2010, road rage has been blamed for at least 1,700 deaths nationwide. Police in the latest cases are asking for the public's help to get the suspects off the street and into jail. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.